Randy, uh, it was talked about after the game how your defense does such a good job adjusting at halftime and playing better in the second half. Uh, I mean, wh what goes into that? How are you guys able to consistently do that so well throughout the years? Well, I, I would say we do what we do. So we know when there's problems, disappointing that we had the problems. But once we figured out what they were, we got them adjusted, the kids adjusted, and uh, we got the problem solved for the most part. What were some of those problems that you saw? Ah, uh, we misfit a few times, yeah, more than anything. How um, concerned are you with the run defense going forward after giving up 200 yards this past Saturday and then facing C.J. Donaldson, who had 125 against you guys last year? Yeah, I mean, they're good on offense. They got a good O-line, good running back. Uh, we got to get some things corrected, and I believe we will. Do they do any switches with how they block up front, like with the different methods that they use for their offensive line that you guys have to watch for? Um, I don't think so. I think they do what they do like we do. Um, you know, I'm sure they'll have some, some adjustments and some tricks. Uh, there are three, uh, three down defensive line and we're a four. So, uh, you know, they'll have some differences. But I think for the most part, they will do what they do and we do what we do. Randy, what's the challenge with their quarterback? How much is it designed or is he just... Well, I think, I think some of it's designed and some of it he's a tremendous athlete. I mean, he's rushed for 100 and, what, 10 yards in a game and a half. Uh, thrown for a lot, uh, and they run him. They don't just scramble with him. So, yeah, he's a challenge. Did P.J. go to school a little bit uh, Saturday night? Uh, no more than Eric Hallett did. I, I think Eric Hallett was a fourth rounder at one point. So we'll keep teaching him, coaching him. He'll get better. Everybody on the team will. That's, that's what we do and how we do it. How did Donovan play? Donovan played well. Donovan had a good, uh, good uh, game, came in, did what he was supposed to do the way he was supposed to do it, and – uh, as I always say, that, that's a good competition there. And the best one this week will start. How's Shane handling the responsibilities that Mike just communicated to keep people on the same page? He was the one who told us after the game, like, hey, between outside and inside zone, our keys were, were off, and that's what we adjusted. Yeah. I saw, going back to the tape, looked like there were times where just uh, pre-snap alignments were a little slow to adjust to pre-snap motion. Yeah, I think that a little bit. And then we had a couple of uh, issues with, with eyes, things that you're talking about. Uh, you know, I think early in the season that stuff happens and, you know, we're playing against a good team with a, with a big physical back who transferred from the SEC and so he made us pay for it early. Shane's doing good. Shane's doing good. He's an experienced guy. Uh, you know, when we come off the field and there were issues, we figured him out real quick because he was able to explain what was going on, what the problems were. So you had all that playing time for Donovan, you had Javon playing at the field side. Are you comfortable with him in both? I know you've talked about cross-training him even back to the spring. Sure. Yeah, we're doing it in a game. Well, we've rotated cross-training. those guys all along, and, and we will continue to do that as we did last year with, with those guys in the, in the bowl game and during the season. So, yeah, those guys will all rotate in. Randy, a bit of a different question. Can you, can you take me through your experience and what you were feeling when MJ intercepted that pass against West Virginia last year? Uh, at that point, then, I was looking at two things. I was looking at uh, two-minute offense what they would do if we scored and then if we didn't score that's my job is to look at the next series so you weren't even reacting oh i was happy as i could be for about one second (laughs) game game was a long way from being over as you guys know you deserve more happiness in one second yeah well hopefully this week we'll get one we saw devin and david get up they are now officially the starters the the oars were taken off uh for deandre and that title but what uh, what did you see from them to, to, that they kind of just got the lone standing as starters and how have you seen your defensive line work so far? Yeah, well, I think at the end of the day, they played the best this week. And at some point as you go along, one guy steps up enough to be the starter. That doesn't mean they're going to play uh, every snap, as you know, but they'll at least run out there the first snap and the first set. With a lot of the issues, I mean, Pat yesterday talked about communication and even over communication. You talked about the fits. Do, do you chalk how much of that do you chalk up to? I mean, you had six new starters, and you 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 know half your defense sure. was new in that game. I mean, did a lot of it just come from first game? A, a lot usually does, and that's why we just got to keep coaching and and you know there's no panic. Just keep coaching, doing what we do the way we do it, and uh, our players will be fine. Is there something you guys have to do to get more turnovers right now? Or are you? Yeah, with the pace of how you guys have created a turnover each game? Well, not one per game. I don't think anybody would be happy with that. We do have to get the ball out a little more. we gotta, we got to create a little more pressure, and uh, we got to get more population to the ball. I think that will create it. Are you pleased that the defense was able to kind of tighten up in the second half of 
I yeah. didn't tighten up enough. So I, I would put it that way. You know, if we stop them on that last set and get the ball back to the offense, uh, maybe I'd be a little happier. Randy, how has the bounce back been from a mentality standpoint? Is it a feeling of a rivalry week this week? Oh, yeah, it is. But I think uh, as, as you always do um, after a loss is you've got to regroup, figure out what the problems are, and get them corrected. And we had a serious practice today. What, uh, you know, after the two games, how did Bengali and Solomon grade in their assignments and responsibilities? Uh, they did fine. You know, I think uh, there were plays. Uh, both of them still are still figuring parts of it out. We moved uh, Bengali to the boundary and, and uh, Sullivan's in. And, and uh, you know, Sully is uh, uh, also learning. So there's going to be a little learning curve every week. And I think the critical point for those as anybody that's new out there is how they do when they learn from their mistakes. If we learn from our mistakes, we'll be a lot better this week. Are you a little concerned about the depth there? I mean, you know, who, who are you looking for to stand up or to step up behind those two guys? Well, we, we've got uh, uh, Lovelace is out there. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of who else. Nick Lappy's on the depth yeah, Nick, Nick Lappy's out there. Um, and then we can always move Shane back outside if we have to at, at the end of the day. So all those guys and Kyle Lewis also will play. Uh, a little more. How has Kyle looked? Because he's, he's, he's seen some action. I've seen well, Kyle play. missed a lot with the injury. Mm -hmm. So he's every day getting a lot better. He moves well now. Uh, it's just getting reps, getting him, getting him, get him seasoned, ready to go. Your um, pass rushing reputation is something that uh, you have to deal with, I guess, because t the teams do anything different to try to uh, protect the passer because you guys have been so good at it over the years? Uh, I think there's times that they'll, they'll max, maximum pro it. You know, to throw the ball. Uh, some, you know, everybody does, but uh, it's my job to figure out how to get him to the quarterback. And so, well, I'll tell you after the game. <laughs>